Hello people of YouTube, this is Kaz with UPPG here to bring you a video about Resident Evil, the remake of the 1998 classic. Uh, this game was originally part of a deal between Nintendo and Capcom to release three exclusive Resident Evil titles on the GameCube. Uh, this game came out first, the remake of the 1998 game, uh, then Resident Evil Zero, which was a prequel starring Rebecca Chambers, I think her name was, and she is the uh, she's the side character in this game. And then there was, of course, uh, Resident Evil 4, which is the big one that everybody knows about, and that was later ported to PC and PS2 and, you know, we uh, the whole slew of consoles. But this one, in my opinion, is the best of the three that they released. And the reason is it really kind of encapsulated the best of uh, survival horror at the time. And, uh, you know, survival horror has has changed a lot. now. Nowadays, you get, like, your out, Outlasts and your Amnesias, and those are really great games, but they kind of have veered away from the roots of survival horror. And a lot of that is technological, just, you know, we couldn't do back then what we can do now, and so the games were made around that. But, I mean, well, we'll get into this later, but I'm going to start a new game here. I'm gonna be playing as Jill. I played as Chris a little while ago, but, uh, like, a little bit earlier today. But I have not played this game other than that in years. It's been about eight years. I had it on the GameCube back when it came out, and I loved it back then. I played it all the time. I'm gonna do normal. And we're gonna play as Jill. Hopefully I have the volume here set low enough, but we'll see. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, right? It's great, man. I love this game. I, I remember in the original Bizarre one that they had on, like, recently PS1 occurred in the beginning Raccoon was so City. Bizarre. There are outlandish reports of families like, being attacked by a group of below. about it's ten just, people. Classic. Victims just like the were apparently beaten. Goodness. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! I don't think we'll skip this. We all know the story by now, right? They get attacked in the woods, get chased into the mansion by dogs, and there enter the survival There are three stars members order. left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris <sighs> is. The classic mansion. Definitely one of the classic survival horror environments, along with, you know, what Silent Hill. Place? Just the good stuff. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? That's trouble. Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. Barry, my guy Barry. All right. Underused in the go. Resident Evil I'll franchise. Definitely Stay one of the sharp. great characters. Dirty Harry to shame. He just a can't, can't beat Barry Burton. He is just all time badass. All time. I got a ring pink ribbon. Probably. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. I hope it's not Christmas blood. blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yeah, they changed the dialogue. That's the one thing. I wish they would have just kept that original dialogue from uh, from the original game. I mean, I know that was like the area that needed improvement the most, but I don't know. I'm a sucker for the old ways. What can I say? The 
classic scene. I'm glad they, they kept this almost exactly the same as the original. Like, they redid the graphics, but it's just on point with the music and everything. Really good. So creepy, too. This game terrified me when I was a kid. Like, when I first played it back in, I guess, 2004. Oh my god. Great game, though. I'll talk more about just the history of the game and the, and the genre. What we'll is get it? Through these initial Look scenes. out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. It's funny, because, like, when I played this when I was a kid, I thought the voice acting was so much better than, uh, than the original, but now it's, like, obviously still so campy. But, I mean, really, I would just not have it any other way. Like, it kills me. I, I love I love The Walking Dead, and I love Norman Reedus, but, like, I'm worried about what uh, the new Silent Hill game is going to be like. Because, like, I don't want them to bring in, like, a professional Wesker! actor and have the voice acting be all perfect. Because, like, a lot of the appeal of that game Jill, was just how everything seemed kind of off, What's and the voice small? acting contributed a lot to that. So I really just hope that they, uh... I, like, I trust, I trust that they know what they're doing. I mean, Hideo Kojima's behind it, so... I have faith, but, you know, only time will tell. That's my favorite franchise, pretty much, so I have a lot of, a lot of hope in the, uh, in the new game. Don't go down here for a while. That's actually, you go there near the end of the game. I remember you get, like, these, uh, these two crests and have to go through there. Spoiler warning, of course. Don't, uh, don't watch if you don't want spoilers, but it's an old game. I mean, there's really not much to spoil at this point. Yeah, so uh, the survival horror genre, obviously, uh, it really began with a game called Alone in the Dark in like the early 90s. I can't remember exactly which year it came out, but it was almost exactly like Resident Evil in terms of gameplay, but it wasn't quite as refined. Like The graphics were more basic, and uh, the gameplay in general was just a lot more basic. But uh, this game, not, not this game, but the original Resident Evil just totally changed everything. It, it really made survival horror like a big thing. Oh, Very. On. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room. Everybody's room. disappearing. Okay, Better I'll split try up. The door on the other side. Genius. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Yeah, they don't even use the Master of Unlocking line. Come on now. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Seems like the voice syncing is a little off. I think that's because of Bandicam, so I apologize about that. Seems okay for gameplay, though. Alright, so we're gonna head in here. But yeah, uh, the survival horror genre is really an offshoot of, like, the old adventure games, and, uh... It kind of follows the same logic. Like, you get, like, kind of outlandish puzzles, like, uh... The one that always comes to mind is, uh, Silent Hill 2, where you have to get something out of, out of like, a drain and you have to use like a piece of hair and like a paper clip and like stick them together and it's just nonsensical and and survival horror kind of like comes from that heritage but obviously with the horror aspect added in and this game it, like this only came out three years after the original resident evil so it kind of shows you like how far the genre came in just that small amount of time after <clears throat> excuse me after the original resident evil came out and it, it kind of just took off rightfully so And then that same year, or about a year later, after the original Resident Evil came out, Silent Hill came out, and a lot of people were kind of just like, you know, oh, this is a clone, like, this is just copying, trying to trying to 
take some of Resident Evil's, uh, you know, thunder. But Silent Hill really, uh... God, this is so long, I'm just gonna use my thing. Oh. Run, run, run. Silent Hill really, I think, just added a lot to the genre, because it, it moved away from jump scares, which the original Resident Evil, like, almost exclusively relied on, in terms just for, like, scare factor. I have a knife to bury it. And, uh, it kind of, it made things a lot more psychological, and I really like that, and it added a lot to the genre. But Resident Evil's, like, you know, always classic. The later games, you know, it's kind of gone downhill, but up until, like, 4, it was a really, really great franchise. Even 5 was pretty good. I always liked those games a lot. Let's see if I can get behind here. No, I'll just do it when I come back through. You gotta push this over and get this map, I remember that. But yeah, I don't know. Survival horror is kind of fallen away, in my opinion. But horror games these days are really good. Like, I love Amnesia. I love Outlast. Those are really good games. Lots of fun. And they definitely, they, they add a lot to, uh, they add a lot to the genre, but... I don't know. There's something about, like, needing a map and just, like, abstract riddles and all that kind of craziness that I just, I feel like is lacking in the in the genre today but i mean i'm an old man so I, I just don't always get what the kids are down with these days this game definitely improved on uh like i was saying before the original resident evil was kind of just exclusively like jump scares and then silent hill came out and kind of made things a little bit more atmospheric or based on atmosphere rather and this game then came out, obviously, after the original Silent Hill, and it, it uh, improved on that aspect quite a bit. Really added a lot to the uh, to the atmosphere of the game. This game was creepy, man. When it came out, it was just like... Oh. I'd love to see him just kind of, like, reboot the Resident Evil franchise. Because, I mean, this game did really well. Like, the remaster of the remake that came out on uh, Steam and shit. Like, that that uh, will hopefully send the message to Capcom that, you know, the fan base is still there. Like, we'll still play your games if you stop trying to make, you know... I don't mean to bash on Call of Duty. I know a lot of people like but I mean, not every game has to be Call of Duty, and that's kind of what they wanted to do with the recent Resident Evil games, especially 6, which was just, in my opinion, like, not a very good game at all. This guy. This guy right here. Gotta watch out for him later on. Oh. God, I'm so bad at this game. I used to be so good, man. Like, I could, like, speed run through this back in the day. Get the rocket launcher and stuff with unlimited ammo, but I don't know. I've lost my skill. I've been playing the Silent Hill games again recently. I played 2 and 3. And, uh, just really great games. They hold up well today. This whole generation was just, like, a really good time for uh, survival horror games. Alright, now I believe this goes to... Graveyard. But yeah, that guy on the floor in there. Basically, like, this game added something called Crimson Heads, which is where, uh, if you kill a zombie and don't burn it or destroy its head, it'll come back as, like, a, like, a speedier, faster, scarier zombie, and they'll come after you. They're supposed to be, like, oh, there's ammo there. They're supposed to be, like, the, uh, middle ground between the liquors from the later games and zombies. But they're only in the remake, which is unfortunate, because they added a lot to this game, man. Like, you would see, like, a dead zombie and just the tension of, like, whether it was going to wake up or not. Whether you had the kerosene to burn it. It just had a really cool dynamic going on.
take this out to the graveyard. Into the area where you fight, I think, the Crimson Head boss. Who, uh, some people believe is... Oswald Spencer, I think his name was? The Spencer, the guy who, like, designed their, uh, owned this mansion, rather, the architect, but... That was a fan theory I remember from back in the day. is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Right. Yeah, this seems like a really good idea. I'm just gonna head down into the, uh, the sub-graveyard area with the creepy noises. Oh god, I can't wait till I get to Lisa Trevor, man. She was the best addition to uh, to this game. I'll probably record some more when I get to her. I'm not gonna do like a full playthrough here. I'm just gonna kind of. I'm probably gonna wrap this video up soon. I just wanted to give my thoughts on you know survival horror and just where it is now, where it, where it came from, where it where it was when this game came out. A much better time, unfortunately, but you know nothing nothing crazy. But I will probably record when I get to her, just because she deserves her own video. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I have to leave the back. There we go. Get the key. Get the fuck out of this creepy basement. Good to go. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Spooky. I wonder if it has anything to do with that, uh, with that sketchy coffin up there. I doubt it. I doubt that that's just there for scenery. Really. Nothing to worry about. Love the camera angles in this, too. This was one of the few games that really just nailed, like, completely static cameras. Like, I know God of War had, uh, had, uh, fixed camera angles, but it kind of moved. It was kind of dynamic. Like, this game is very, like, just kind of one angle. And it had to be because of the pre-rendered backgrounds, but they really just nailed it, man. Such a good game. Definitely one of the all-time classics. And it's crazy to think, like, you know, it only came out three years, four years after the original. Well, I can't remember if the original Resident Evil came out in 96 or 98. It might have actually been 96, and then Resident Evil 2 was 98, but regardless, this only came out around, like, five years after the original game. And just look at it. Like, the graphics are so good, man. They, they hold up today after so long. Like, this was a uh, GameCube game, and it's just really, really Let's just get to a save room real quick, and then I'll wrap this up. Gotta go through the uh, legendary Cerberus hallway. I don't think they actually jump out in this one, though. I remember that they, like, kind of kind of changed that in this. I knew that was gonna happen.
you know, I'm really, I'm probably not going to, like, continue this profile, so I think we should maybe, uh, we should go out and, go out in style. I'm kind of hungry for a Jill sandwich, if you know what I'm saying. Which room was that, God? Like I said, it's been years since I played this game, but certain things stick with you. Here it is. I wonder if Barry will save me. I know Barry saves you sometimes, but I can't remember, like, what the requirements are to have him save you. So I might get saved here, in which case I'll be disappointed, but... Regardless. Oh no. Uh-oh. That's trouble. This room, man, would give me just nightmares when I was younger. Especially playing as Chris, because uh, you have to get like a broken shotgun and replace the thing. Or else he dies. But Barry Burton may save me, I'm not sure. Oh god, what did I do now? Ah, oh, god damn it. Wesker! Barry! Help! Here Jill, he comes. You in there? Always Barry? in the right place at the Get right time. The door's jammed! It's the beard. Stand back! Every true hero needs a beard. <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. God, see, that's really? just unforgivable. You say Thanks. Jill sandwich. You don't, you don't leave that shit out. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find Terrible. other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? Plot. I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right. Well, I think that's going to about do it for me. Uh, I've probably gone on long enough, and I've pretty much said what I wanted to say. But uh, look at that achievement. He is a great guy, that Barry Burton. He's a, he's a just swell guy. All right. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed listening to me kind of just wax nostalgic about survival horror and uh maybe learn something maybe not but either way i hope you enjoyed have a good one everybody